Hello everyone, Namaskar. So today we are going to solve one more question from Laplace transform. So we have to evaluate this integral and I will do so using Laplace transform only. So let's uh, see how we can do it. We will start from uh, initial basic and then we will uh, slowly and slowly reach to the integral. So first of all, I know that Laplace transform of cos a t in general is a divided by is sorry s divided by s divided by s square plus a square so if i use the same formula i can find the laplace transform of cos at which is s divided by s square plus a square and similarly the Laplace of cos bt so Laplace transform of cos a t minus cos b t I can write as s divided by s square plus a square minus s divided by s square plus b square okay now what's next they are asking us to divide that by t so division by t property you all know that if laplace of f of t you know to be equal to f bar s the laplace of f of t divided by t that will be equal to integral from s to infinity f bar s fine so this will be laplace of cos a t minus cos b t divided by t will be nothing but integral from s to infinity s divided by s square plus a square minus s divided by s square plus b square with respect to s. Now this is a simple integral s square if plus a square if you take as t. So only thing which I will require is two extra 2 in numerator. So just multiply divide by 2. Now if you take denominator as t. So you will get uh, the derivative in numerator. So directly I can write its integration as to be equal to log s square plus a square and log s square minus b square so i have it's uh, important to write lhs also because we are going to do something with that so laplace of cos at minus cos bt by t
will be equal to 1 by 2 log s square plus a square minus log s square plus b square. log a minus log b is log a by b And as it says, it goes from S to infinity also, so that is important to write. So you will get log S square plus A square divided by S square plus B square. So if you inside log if you divide numerator and denominator by s square because infinity limit we have to put so you have this 1 plus a square by s square 1 plus b square by s square. Now if you put limit as infinity, so 1 upon infinity is 0, so log 1 by 1, which is log 1, and log 1 is 0, so you will get half, 0 from upper limit, and if you put lower limit, you will get back the same thing, which can be rearranged like this only, so you are getting, because you are putting S in place of S only, so you will get back this thing only fine so you have obtained this so LHS by definition what we can write if we have to find this Laplace transform by definition you would have written this as integral from 0 to infinity e power minus st and whatever was the function you would have pasted that so cos at minus cos bt by t By the help of property what you have got that is in the RHS so that is half log s square plus a square s square plus b square uh, wait a minute I have I put infinity there so that became log 1 which is 0 and uh, then I kept S there. So in the middle I will get a negative sign that will do nothing but jump to the power and that will just flip. Denominator becomes numerator and numerator becomes denominator. So I will get half log S square plus B square divided by S square. Now what I required was 
e power minus t zero to infinity i have got in lhs e power minus t is required and here we have e power minus s t i don't want that s so why not put that s to be equal to 1 on both the side so you will get whatever is required in lhs sorry whatever the demanded is in lhs and that is equal to your rhs your question in lhs your answer in rhs here put s as 1 so you will get uh, e power minus t equal to half log 1 plus b square one plus again a simple question where both definition and property was used because they required zero to infinity so zero to infinity you get in definition so first of all try to solve this with the help of property and at last uh, in lhs use definition in rhs you have got by property and try to think that what we require and what we have got till now so i uh, got e power minus st but i required e power minus t so i put e s equals to one on both the sides so i got this this integral so that's it uh, e, laplace gives an easy way to solve the integral in case you are not able to solve by uh, the other methods so just use properties and that's it uh, it is not that difficult to solve so more such question is available on uh, my channel in Laplace Transform playlist. Do watch that and share with your friends. Thanks and have a nice day.